Get, uh, nice to be chatting with you again. I know you're over there at seoleverage.com and we've been talking about SEO tips and one thing that comes up a fair bit in my world is people do want to build an email list and they often ask me, I very recently actually got asked this same question, what can people give away that is going to help build an email list that might also assist an SEO campaign? Absolutely, we see this a lot. What we usually see is either people have no tracking in place altogether so they want to start by tracking how many people opt in for whatever they have and if it's opt in for our newsletter track this whatever you have as a data point you need some sort of benchmark but then you want to first of all create maybe one generic thing that actually appeals to 90 percent of the people coming to your website but then take it one step further so with this generic thing you're going to get better data and you are going to get with Google Analytics, you can try and track where do people come into my website, which article do they see first, and how many of those actually then opt in for something. But then you want to take it to the next level by checking out where do most of my people land and where do I not have a decent conversion rate, and then develop specific lead magnets for those articles. And if this is a checklist of the best marketing tools or on the funnel tools, for example, this might be a buyer's guide. But if this is a like an, an article about email marketing strategies, it might be a list of subject lines and or case studies around email marketing. So you want to make sure that you match the lead magnet specifically to why they came to this article in the first place, because this is going to have the highest amount of conversions. We have clients that get 5,000 opt-ins in a month, not because they get so much traffic, but because they nail the lead magnet. Can you have more than one? You can absolutely have more than one, but you definitely want to test it. Ideally, you have one action you ask clients to take on your page, which usually leads to the highest conversion rate. And you want to have on your page, by the way, multiple ways for them to get this lead magnet. It shouldn't be something at the bottom because maybe 10% of the people might scroll that far. Ideally, you give them multiple options to opt in for just the best thing you can offer them as the logical next step. Would you see different lead magnets on different pages? You can definitely have different lead magnets on different pages and I very much encourage our clients to do so as long as the lead magnets are matched to the article. So I always say, look, start with one generic one that's on all articles, but then override this generic one by specific ones on individual content pieces. Love it. Great tip for email list building using SEO. Thanks, Kiet. Thank you. 